Korea's central bank will announce its new growth outlook for this year on Tuesday. The bank's governor has already hinted that the forecast could be cut to the 2% range. Hwang Jae looks into how the downgrade could affect the BOK's interest policy. With sluggish exports prompted by the slowing Chinese economy as well as slumbering domestic demand, it's now almost certain that growth in Korea will be in the 2% range this year. Ahead of this month's monetary policy meeting on Tuesday, when the central bank will also release its new growth outlook, the Bank of Korea Governor Lee ji hinted at the possibility of a growth rate below 3% this year. The central bank's current growth forecast stands at 3%, and if the BOK actually cuts its earlier projection, it's not going to be a loan. Most local institutions, as well as other global investment banks, expect Korea to fall short of expansion in the 3% range. With that, market expectations for more easing to prop up growth remain, but analysts say a rate cut is unlikely this month. Economic indicators in February, as well as export figures for March, have improved, prompting the central bank to keep an eye on the current situation before maneuvering the interest rate. Four of the central bank's monetary policy board members are scheduled to be replaced following the monetary policy meeting this month. Another issue that market watchers say will make it hard for the BOK to cut the key rate. They say it's unlikely incumbent members will take any such actions, as it will leave fewer options for their successors. During his trip to Washington for the G20 financial leaders meeting on Friday, the top central banker also said that the BOK is carefully managing its monetary policy, as it could be dangerous to change the key rate with the country currently facing various external uncertainties. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.